We have the latest trailer for Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. It's actually the first official full trailer, less of a tease, but still a tease. Let's take a look. Family. We don't mean any harm! But they want what we want, to survive. Apes! Together! Strong! The war is not what you want. There must be another way. War has already begun. Who else has chills? Right? The trailer is dope! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to see that movie. This, uh, I, I liked the, the, the latest before this Planet of the Apes movie, but I this a, looks like steps beyond. I am a huge fan of the Planet of the Apes films. I have been for the longest time, all the way back to the original. And it's nice to see the morality play um, re-injected into big sci-fi epics again mm -hmm. and, not, and not feel forced. Where does this film start, do you think, um, after the last film? It, I believe it's uh, between five years and a decade after the last film. The simian flu has broken out across the world. James Franco is long dead. James Franco's gone. <laughs> All that's left is a video. And, and the paintings of Seth Rogen that he made. And the paintings. Uh, <laughs> but, um, and so now uh, the apes have carved out a stronger, almost as strong, or if not stronger, community um, from the humans. And the hu apes are now viewed as the cause of this but worldwide they do outbreak. Cause it. Exactly, but explain that to, uh, for example, if you can imagine how flu would go out there, it's going to be put out there that, oh, these are the creatures causing it. Think of a Fox News, how they would spin a story like that. In the modern media, going out to the people uh, who are digesting all this and don't quite understand it, all they're hearing are monkeys escape from San Francisco and launch and virus is launched in the same incident. Ah, so I do like that socio-political tone of like scapegoating and, exactly, and exactly. trying to figure out simple solutions for complicated problems. Exactly, and it looks like, according to the trailer, there's a lot of elements at play of blaming others for your situation and not understanding community. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, there are a lot of situations going on in the in the world now, not just our country, that we are now on a global landscape where we need some messaging to kind of get people to start understanding mm -hmm. other cultures and other sides of things. So I'm all for anything that balances raucous entertainment with a valuable message. Are you campaigning against the humans? Uh, pers to, to Fox News, your face. I'm campaigning, campaigning against anybody that's being a dick. Okay. If the apes are the chill ones and they want to pass me a J, which I feel <laughs> I don't like... Think they're doing that. I feel like, no, the apes are the hippies, man. They're up in the trees. They're swinging around, man. They're groovy people. <laughs> Communing with nature. Yeah, yeah you know, sure. getting up there, getting to know themselves. And I feel like those are the pe those are my people. I'd go up there and they'd have a drum circle. I ready. had a slight Walking Dead feel to this when I saw like the survivors, like the human tribe by I mean, themselves you being. You recognize frightened. the guy that you cast when you need the guy who's willing to sacrifice his morality in a dystopian <laughs> future. Uh, he'll you find get... a tank. He'll make it work. So, what do you think of um, from the human perspective of this? As a human. Um, Post-apocalyptic scenarios are so right all-consuming, and it's just because we're told every day any of these could be a reality. I mean, we're finding out that there's a fungus that can take control of ants' brains and move them where the fungus wants to go, and then people are extrapolating that and making games like Last of Us. Mm -hmm. When we're fed that every day, and Walking Dead is one of the most popular shows of all time, we're at a time where atheism is on a rise and religion is on a fall, and it's just getting to a point where people are questioning, okay, what really comes next. I do think that's an interesting point to make. And I, I do like sci-fi because we get to have those questions mm -hmm. of, could this be, would this be, are we on our way to a dystopia? What is yeah. going on? And I think the futurism in the movies lately has been really great. You have positive futurism like her, where we're actually kind of feeling like we're looking at where we're gonna be anywhere between six and 10 years. And then you have futurism like this, which is, guys, it really doesn't take that much to kick over how fragile our ecosystem is. And I, I, I love both aspects of it, but it really, it really is a driving force in where we're going. Our entertainment dictates where 
we go, what we pursue. Mm -hmm. The sci-fi of the 50s, 60s, and 70s really dictated where we went with technology through the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and now we're seeing that happen again. But not here on Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, hopefully. Yes, no, <laughs> but in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, I love a movie that can point out how quickly and how badly it can go wrong with just nature deciding that that's, that's how it's going to be. Um, and, and the other part of this is it's also a, a real humanity tale about you know how much should human beings be messing with science because mm -hmm. this is all caused because scientists decided to mess with apes and try to advance their knowledge so that they could advance human knowledge and cure a disease. And ultimately, I think every step forward we have in technology and medicine is humanity desperate not to let go of the fact that this is our one trip around. They can't stand the idea of dying. Which is a, the flies exactly in the face of, of science and yes. understanding, which is so beautiful. What do you think of the plan Dawn of the Planet of the Apes trailer? Did you extrapolate all that we extrapolated from it? Or do you think it's just awesome to have Andy Serkis back again as Caesar? Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe. <laughs>